Virgo, say my lovies. I said Virgo, say my lovies. Virgo, say my loves. Hey, 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 my loves. <coughs> Virgo, say my loves. Hey, 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 my loves. Hey, 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 my loves. Sing it with me one time, sing. Hey, my loves. Hey, hey, my loves. What's going on, Virgos? I'm sending you a multitude of love, light, and positive energy. It is your spiritual guide and first me. Here to shine some light on your situations. Give you some advice where you need advice. Let you know what spirit has to say about the matter. And also um, shed some positive energy and healing energy on your path. Virgo, let's go ahead and dive right in if you're looking for your prayer. It's on the video that we posted before. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods. Thank you so much for being here with me and my amazing Virgos. Thank you for messages of truth, clarity, love, and light, and blocking and bonding all negative energy, and seize witchcraft, wickedness, anything that may be trying to hinder your divine will for our lives. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on here. Wow, okay. So somebody could be having a kind of a difficult conversation with someone or I feel like they were bumping heads, somebody bump heads maybe. Um I feel like you two aren't seeing eye to eye at this time. Something here. Somebody could be dealing with somebody that's a bit aggressive. Okay. This person has feelings for you and they don't know what to do with them really. Virgo, I feel like you're doing your best to deal with this situation in a positive light um but let's see i feel like somebody could be rubbing you the wrong way with their energy maybe there's somebody in your energy that you like a lot but i don't know it's something going on here with some type of indecision so let's see first card out hold on to your vision all right so whatever you're thinking about doing it could be something that you're focusing your attention on um something that you really believe could happen for you spirit is saying hold on to that vision don't give up on yourself before you see things coming into fruition. It may take a little time, but it's happening for you. You just might not see everything yet. Okay, then we have conclusions are in breach. Again, this is touching and agreeing with this. So hold on to your vision. This is saying be patient, all right, because something is happening that you may not be able to see. Conclusions are in breach. Okay, next we have don't let your past hold you back. So whatever you may be dealing with or that hurt and pain from the past, you may be fearful thinking it's going to happen again, not wanting to repeat the same cycle, thinking that everybody is going to maybe do the same thing that your ex did. Virgo Spirit is telling you to take your time out to focus very clearly on these situations and give things a chance, okay? Don't let the feelings from your past or whatever experience you had with your ex hold you back from something beautiful that could very well match your energy and be what you deserve, okay? So don't let your fears hold you back or the past. All right, balance spirituality and practicality, full moon and Pisces, okay? So Pisces could be significant here. That high priestess energy could be significant here. Um, but definitely there needs to be a balance for your practical thinking and your spiritual thinking and your gifts. So definitely have some type of balance here, okay? Meaning I feel like somebody here needs to seek more knowledge and information about their spiritual gifts. All right, so you can be able to balance the two properly. All right, be bold and make the first move. So this could be re in regards to anything. I feel like if it's something that you want, you definitely have to be the first to make the first move and be bold. Um, for some of my Virgos, this could be you wanting to go towards somebody and let somebody know how you're feeling. Um, so we're just saying, go ahead, be bold, make the first move, you know. Let's see what this energy is. Show me Virgo's energy. What Virgo may be thinking about their person. What their person could be thinking about them. What's going on for my Virgos? Show me clear messages, Spirit. What's happening for the Virgo? All right. We have a stalemate here. Avoidance. So it could be somebody that you're avoiding. Or you're ignoring something here that is a part of your vision. Something that you want. Somebody could be entertaining something that is not good for them. And you know it's not. And you could be not paying attention to it. Um, this particular person in this energy doesn't go with your vision. So maybe you need to release something. 
conclusions are within reach when it comes to this cycle that's been a pain to close it's almost time for this cycle to be completely closed i know that it feels like things have been dragging but you're going to be able to close this cycle very soon it's all going to come to pass sorry guys i gotta call my son back okay so yeah i feel like finally this cycle is going to be closing and it's been hard it's been a lot going on some of you've been wondering like when am i going to be completely finished healing when is this going to be fully closed now this cycle is coming to an end conclusions are within reach so don't let your past hold you back don't let this feelings whatever happened with this person hold you back um, there is somebody here that you're attracted to and they want stability with you, harmony and flow. Um, I'm feeling like, don't think that this person is like the others. I feel like there is somebody here in your energy that maybe wants to love you. They don't want to play with you. They don't want to cheat. They just want to be focused. They want to build harmony, um, a stable balance and a stable flow of emotions with you. Okay. So I feel like somebody needs to release the feelings of the past and the fears of the past. Balance spirituality and practicality of rebirth in the winter. So somebody could be elevated to another level, okay? Um, but I'm feeling like there definitely has to be a balance here, okay? So it's it's basically saying don't hold yourself back. Enjoy life, but also definitely have some type of healthy balance so you can protect yourself. Be bold and make the first move. It may be somebody trying to come back into your energy. I feel like in the summertime, you're going to see some growth with this person. Somebody could have been holding on to their comfort zone here, just not really wanting to get out. But it's time somebody wants to balance karma with you. Somebody wants justice with you. I feel like there's some type of karmic debt that may be needed to be satisfied between you and this person. I feel like somebody could be dealing with the Libra with these scales here. Okay, but I feel like this Libra is clinging on because I feel like they like you. They feel comfortable with you. You make this person feel comfortable. It's something that they feel when it comes to you, okay? And I feel like there's going to be a reunion here and some growth in the summertime between you and this person. I feel like definitely you may reconnect, okay? Um, and Virgo, this time you could have made the first move, okay? But I feel like you and this person are going to reconnect. Your ancestors are here. There is a decision that you need to make that's very important. It's something that could hold you back. Um, you're on your way down a path that you may not really want to go down. I feel like you're already on your right path. And then there's another path that you could take. Or either there's two people and two paths here that you could choose. So there's some type of decision that you need to make. And they're hoping that you make the right decision. All right. Alchemy card is here. So this is something that you've manifested. Now is definitely time for clear thinking and careful decision making here. Okay. That's what I'm getting to tell you. All right, it has everything to do with your elevation, everything to do with this oneness that you have. And there's somebody in your energy that's very controlling and triggering. Look, and you could have got a message from this person or some type of messages this person is in your head. They're reading you. Somebody has Scorpio in their chart. Somebody's been watching you the whole time. All right. Hmm. It's interesting. Very interesting, Virgo. So let's see what's going on here. Let's use the Love and War deck to see what's happening. <clears throat> I want to see what type of energy this pulls on. So we're going to put these over here. Somebody wanting to balance karma. There's a lot of attraction between you and them. Somebody, I feel like you... Wow. There's a cycle that's about to be closed for good. Something that you're not really sure about. So let's see. Let's see what else comes out. Hold on to your vision. I feel like everything that you've been working for, everything that you're doing, everything that you've been establishing, hold on to that. And I feel like your vision doesn't include somebody toxic or somebody that has these unhealthy bonds. Somebody here doesn't have the best energy. Not a chance in hell. I'm single and loving all my options. Not sure if I would settle down again. Don't let your past hold you back. Run. This person may break your heart. Alter your motives. Wow. Balance spirituality and practicality. Be careful. This person may try to hurt you. Violent, dangerous, and aggressive. And divine masculine and a divine feminine. Be Wow. Be bold to make the first move. Okay, so. Mm. Whew, so, okay. Somebody is walking away from somebody. And this person is aggressive. It could be a bit dangerous. 
feel like somebody is not going to want to let you go. You may, um, mm. so hold on to your vision. Not a chance in hell. And I feel like this is out here because you will not let this person ruin it. Somebody is a bad influence and you're not going to let them stop you, stunt your growth or stop your money. Conclusions are within reach. I'm single and loving all my options. Not sure if I will settle down. So I feel like you're going to find this out. Find out that this person has this energy and be able to finally close this cycle. I feel like you've been avoiding making a decision even though you feel this energy around. You've been trying to make the right decision. Um, and then when it comes to don't let your past hold you back, run. So when I feel this, I feel like you know this energy already. So don't let your past hold you back. Meaning just because you, the things you used to do, maybe staying with people for the same reason or I just am scared to leave. I don't want to say this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to hurt this person. It's about you and your feelings and what's right for you. If you know somebody has ulterior motives and you can feel it, you can walk away from this person. You don't owe them anything. So don't let those bad habits from the past hold you back. Get away from this person if that's what you need to do. Balance spirituality and practicality. Be careful. This person may try to hurt you. Violent, dangerous, and aggressive. So there has to be some type of healthy balance here. You can you can still be spiritual with this person, but definitely you have a balance here. You got to be real about the situation, but also you can be loving and kind where that evokes kindness and not rage. So it's all about how you deal with this person and how you handle them and how you convey your message. Okay? Then we have be bold and make the first move, divine masculine and a divine feminine here. So I feel like there's a divine feminine or masculine that came back towards you or came into your energy. Somebody that you're already acquainted with possibly or this could be a new acquaintance. But I feel like this is something that was short lived. Somebody that you already met and they tapped back into your energy. I feel like now you're making the first move telling them we could catch up or whatever. There's something unfinished business between you and this person or something like that. <clears throat> somebody wants to know why are you single you're so fine and amazing virgo Whew. they're like why the hell don't you have a man or a woman what the heck they want to know virgo said because i ain't for y'all crap out here y'all don't do right in these streets honey y'all do not do right in these streets let's see what spirit wants to tell you about this <laughs> show me clear messages about this not a chance in house spirit what is this for Virgo so there's a karmic here hold on to your vision you got the knight of wands okay so I feel like you are passionate about something setting out to do something a go-getter you're gonna do it okay you're not taking no for an answer you're not letting anybody get in your way I feel like especially not this karmic fire sign there's a karmic here somebody that's taking you down the wrong path this person is a distraction for you okay this person knows that they don't deserve you all right, and I feel like it's not a victory. The wheel is not going to turn in your favor if you decide to stay with this person. So not a chance in hell is here. Like, no, I'm not letting this person get in the way. Um, this is karmic balance, learning karmic lessons with the wheel of fortune here. Um, this is also the wheel turning in your favor. Um, I feel like, but with this person there, it's like they were blocking it. It's like they came out like this over top the wheel. It's like they're blocking it. So this is a blockage. This is a distraction. This person is a distraction on your path. This fire sign. All right. I'm single and loving all my options. Not sure if I will settle down. Somebody's burdened with all these options. Don't know what to choose. Somebody could have an addiction here. Um, but I feel like it could be pills. With these little white doves. They made me think about little pills. Or, I mean, it could be anything. It could be women. Some people are, somebody's addicted to riches. It could be anything. Not all these cups have good things in it. But I feel like somebody is burdened by their options. And they don't want to, they don't want to let them go. Somebody is attached to these people. And they don't want to let them go. So I feel like eventually, all of this is going to come out, Virgo. And you're going to be able to make a decision and get away from somebody. Don't let your past hold you back. So, I feel like you know it's time for you to move on. Some of you, it could be this husband. Somebody that you were married to or separated from or somebody that wants to come back. Somebody older that you were married to and you remember the things that you went through with this person. This emperor energy, boss-like energy. I feel like 
is something here is saying run this person may break your heart or tear your motives so if you're dealing with the emperor or older aries or aries or somebody that's married already um somebody that you know you already know how they are and they could be trying to sweet talk you go the other way virgo all right this person may try to break your heart and for some of you it's this older person who's this emperor show me Somebody here has said that you didn't receive them, like you rejected them. They're standing their ground with you. They really had feelings for you. They think you're so sweet and kind. The King of Cups. This person could have had Scorpio in their chart. But I feel like you made this person, you deflated their ego. You made this person feel really sad um, when you walked away. You made them feel like they weren't worthy or something like that. I mean, they're used to people doing what they want. Okay? But I feel like this person really wants to talk to you. Um, and this could be a King of Swords energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I mean, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But I feel like, be careful, this person may try to hurt you. <sighs> this came off of that King of Swords. So be careful. This person is a manipulator. Yeah, this person is. Yeah, so you may want to hold back from this person. They're a manipulator. Show me why. What's going on with this person with this air sign? Empress is here. Somebody may need to hold back from a Taurus. Um, somebody is standing their ground. They only want emotional pleasure. Somebody doesn't want a relationship here. Somebody is in a situation where they're losing money, stuck in something. Feeling like their hands are tied. They can't get you off their mind. They wanted to heal something. Wow. What is this heartbreak here? Somebody's healing from heartbreak. They see you as their wish fulfillment. This person is emotionally unavailable though. And somebody has a fire sign that's definitely stabbing them in the back. It's like you have the clarity that you know that this person will betray you. I feel like somebody also is messing with the fire sign that's betraying them. You're going to find out. This air sign could be just coming for a recognized victory. Whatever they can get from you or whatever. They don't really want a relationship. These people are a mess. And I can see exactly why you stay single. Look. Look at this. You got the secrets. The waiting for the ships to come in. Somebody getting away with something. You got karma here. Judgment. It's just, look. Judgment is here. Your angels are here blowing the trumpets. Because this person has all kinds of secrets and everything. And you're going to cut them off. Look, because they don't. Look. They have some kind of toxic tie with their child's mother. It's just a lot going on here. Yeah. Virgo, it's a no for you. You're going to be walking away from this person really quick. And I understand why. Like, this situation definitely is not favorable for you. I don't see neither one of these situations being favorable. This um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or this very Leo Sagittarius. I don't feel like this person has your best interest at heart. Neither one of them. Show Virgo. Time apart. Distance will help bring clarity. Warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. Then you got new love. So somebody new is coming in. Then integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? One situation does not. And then maybe for this new person coming back in, it's time to have fun, enjoy each other, and goof off. Something like that. Underneath the bottom of the deck, someone is secretly yarn, yarn, um, longing for you. Yeah, but something here is strictly sexual. Somebody only wants sex. Somebody only wants sex in one situation. And then second chance, this relationship deserves a second chance. So this might be for that new person. <laughs> That's a lot going on here, Virgo. So I feel like for the new person coming in, whoever this is that you decided to make the first move for, um, I feel like this situation may deserve a second chance. I feel like things didn't get off the ground properly. I also feel like you need to watch your back when it comes to this person and find out what their motives are. Somebody has a, a fire sign that is absolutely betraying them. This fire sign is a liar. They're sneaky and they're doing everything under the sun behind your back. And this is just how they are. This is what they do. And they're going to keep doing it. Okay. Um, be careful with these people. Because I'm feeling like both of them can really be kind of hot-headed. Um, 
and I'm feeling like somebody here can get very aggressive with you, especially if you tell them no, male or female energy. So be very cautious, Virgo, and watch yourself, okay? But this is the energy that is here, so be careful with both of these people. The person that's coming back and this other person. I just feel like, I don't know. It's just not the best energy. I don't know. But you let me know in the comments what happens and how things turn out. I love you. Thank you for being here. And you want to book a, a personal reading to find out more about the situation. Closer than number two. MyDestiny.com is how you book. Or you can email me at closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com if you have any questions about booking or how to book your reading, okay? I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, my love.